Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to give a Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.1 a new lease on life. These tablets tend to have excellent specifications, but they have limited updates, unfortunately. This one stopped in Android 8.1. So what I'm going to do today is install Android 11 on there. And the ROM that I'll be using for that is the Lineage OS 18.1 unofficial ROM that's available on the XDA developers website. I'll leave the link in the description. Now, to be able to do that, we also need to flash a custom recovery onto the tablet as well. So we're gonna need a few things for that. We are going to need the driver for the tablet, download and install it. We are gonna to need to download Odin, which is the software we're gonna be using to do the actual flashing of the recovery. And we are also gonna need the Twerp Team One Recovery Project um, recovery that we're gonna to flash to it as well. Now, this specific model I'm doing it with is an SM-T580. Um, there is different variants and I believe it will work the same on all of them, but just double check that beforehand. Don't take my word for that one. And um, we're gonna need a couple other files as well. So we're gonna need the ROM file itself. And we are also gonna need a file called GAPS, which is just the Google Play Store essentially. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just jump straight into it. And sometimes it can be a little bit of trial and error. So what I'm gonna do is just minimize that here. I already have Odin updated and installed. So what we're gonna do is I've got the tablet here as well. So I'll just turn on the camera here. So just make sure that autofocus is on. So for the tablet itself, it is currently off and it's connected onto, don't know if that'll focus, there we go. Um, it's currently connected to my PC just through standard USB. Now, we need to put it into a specific mode to be able to flash the custom recovery. And as you can see, I've got all those on the desktop here. So there's this custom recovery twerp that we'll be using. And there's Odin, the program that we have running. The Lineage OS and the gaps that are here are the ones that are on the micro SD card that are placed inside this tablet as it is at the moment. So let's just flash it in Odin. So first, we need to put the tablet into download mode. To do that, you have to press the home button. So hold that in. And you have to press the volume down button as well as the power button at the same time. Give it a few seconds just to power on. You're gonna be given an on-screen option here. There we go. So essentially, it's just letting you know it can cause problems if you do it wrong and screw things you shouldn't be, which is exactly what we're doing. We're gonna push volume up because we want to continue into that mode. We'll see it's automatically detected by Odin. If it's not, double check your drivers are the right ones. So now that we've got that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on AP. And we're gonna click that twerp recovery that we downloaded and select open. And the only other option before we flash it, we're gonna go into options, untick auto reboot. Now the next bit's a little fidgety just cause the buttons on these are a pain in the backside, but I'll show you what I mean cause I'm likely to get wrong the first time around. So click on start and it should begin flashing the recovery here. And there we go, it's passed, that's fine. And you can see just in the log here exactly what happened. Now we need to get the tablet out of download mode and into recovery mode. And if you do this wrong and you accidentally boot the tablet into normal mode, you will have to redo this again because it's not a hard coded flash. Um, it's just a soft flash. So we're gonna try and do that just now. So the way to get into the recovery mode is the opposite. So it's the volume up button and the power button at the same time, as well as the home button at the bottom. So I'm just gonna hold those in. And sometimes it can take up to 20 seconds or so. Hopefully it should go fine. Um, some tablets are picky as well. I've had a similar model that essentially you've got to hold the, the recovery options, sorry, the download mode options again, the, power button and volume down button again to get it to boot out of it and then hold the right buttons to get it in the right mode. Um, it's just really awkward for the way I'm holding it on camera because the buttons on this are just horrible to hold in for long periods of time. They are not the most comfortable. Nope, not gonna do it, cool. That's good, this is um, I'm gonna show you the trial and error here. So let's see if I can get it to go out of download mode by holding the two buttons. So not pushing the home button, get ready to push the home button and the power, uh, the volume up button. There we go. So just switch, hold in, hold in. Hopefully I've got that on right, I can't tell. And there we go. First time, that's the first time that's ever happened. So now that we are in, 
the Team One Recovery Project, what we want to do is we want to erase the tablet first before we flash it. So we're going to click on Wipe. I'm going to go to Advanced Options. I'm going to go Dalvik System Data and Swipe to Complete and just let it erase everything. Once it's done that, click Back, click Back again and I'm now going to install the ROM. So if I go to the installation here and I'm going to go to Select Storage, we're going to pick the micro SD card, click OK and scroll down and it looks like only the gaps for some reason has appeared here so this is good this is um, going to show us a little bit of troubleshooting so i'm just going to take the micro sd card i believe you can do this through usb but for some reason it just does not want to work with my pc so we're just going to take the micro sd cards we're going to place it into this usb here going to plug it in and I'm simply just going to right click and send that to the micro SD card. Let's just open it manually actually. So my PC, not put that in correctly. Try again, just double check it's in the right way. Yeah, it looks fine. Give it another try. And there we go, it's worked that time. So continue close now this is the gaps file again i'll leave the link in the description you really should be flashing this when you're doing this at the same time so we're going to move lineage os and we can see it just transfer in there it's not a large file and um, i think it's about 500 odd megabytes yeah 563 so not huge take a few seconds to go over what well, there's i just select the storage to go back to main storage here and just because if the tablet locks, that's fine. You just unlock it again. That's not a problem. There's a whole bunch of different options you've got in here as well. If you want to do a backup of the system, once you've got a custom ROM like Lineage OS installed, or even if you want to back it up before you flash this, you can do that as well. You can restore it. You can, that, the mount option there is for the USB. But again, for some reason doesn't work. I think it's my cable quite honestly, but we'll see. Anyway, so that's us now got our micro SD card. I'm just gonna pop it back in the tablet here. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll go back to install. We are gonna to go to select storage. We're gonna select micro SD. And it doesn't look like it's gonna do it. Okay, that's fine. What we'll do is we will reboot to recovery and see if it goes into the twerp recovery option. I presume not because it's a soft flash and we'll probably have to redo it node and then I'll have to go through playing with the buttons, but it's good that you get to see this. No, nope, nope, cool. It looks like it's went straight back into that. That's what we want. So install, select storage, micro SD card, and there we go. So Lineage OS, all you do, slide, let it install shouldn't take too long at all just maybe about a minute or so now it's just going to copy all the files essentially from that and extract them and install it as an operating system now android 11 is the latest version that is available and this project tends to get updates as well which is pretty good and um, updating it though is not as easy as just going to your system and update some cases it can be but normally it's a case of re-downloading the file and redoing this to flash it and update it but considering this tablet stopped in android 8.1 I don't know, I'd be quite happy just getting Android 11 in the first place. Now, I've already actually tested this on this tablet and a similar model as well. And I have to say the difference is night and day. The tablet is so much more responsive. You get rid of all the Samsung overlays and all the crap that comes with that. So any kind of bloatware, Samsung's only apps, um, their own browser and things like that, their own apps that you just can't uninstall without having to go through a whole rigmarole of rooting it and then getting specific software and so forth. So, yeah, you get definitely, definitely, definitely get a lot of benefits. So if your tablet locks, just unlock it. It will still keep doing it in the background. So cool, we can see that it's done that. That's absolutely fine. So we're going to wipe the Dalvik cache. We are going to go back, back again, and we are going to click on the gaps to install. Now, this one is a very basic one. I only have one that pretty much gives me the Play Store. That gives me full control over what I want to install, when and where, essentially. 
this will take just a few seconds to install. Again, you can get custom ones that will give you everything installed off the button. Again, we're gonna wipe Dalvik Cache and reboot system. And that theoretically should be it. So your Samsung Galaxy Tab A6 10.1 2016 model should start loading up Lineage OS. So what I'll do is I'll just make this a little bit bigger for you. Just so you can see it in a little more screen real estate there. But anyway, the first boot should take just a little bit longer than the rest. The reason for that is, is it's your first boot. It's unraveling everything for its first time loading all the systems up and loading up your applications and you're going to give a couple of customizations to set it up. Obviously, you don't require to do all of them and place excuse me, Play Store and things like that, you can set up yourself anyway. So let's take a little look. Now these tablets are really good. I mean, I certainly recommend them. I mean, even buying them secondhand at the moment, you're probably looking anywhere from 60 to 100 odd pound. And that's just depending on condition. And compared to some of the tablets you're paying 100 pounds for now, it's, um, I wouldn't say it's a better option as such, because some of them will come obviously with the newer operating systems, but usually locked bootloaders, they are then limited when they run out of getting the updates and so forth. So there we go, Lineage OS, we'll click next, we are going to select English United Kingdom, and we are going to click next again for date and time. Um, Wi-Fi, I am just going to pop my Wi-Fi in here. Nearly read out my password there. That would have been bad. Okay. And you've got your location services option. And you can update the recovery to lineage OS recovery. So you can do that to make your updates in the future easier. And you're just applying them from a zip essentially. Which is pretty cool. Um, so we'll do that anyway. Why not? And yeah, help improve. And we don't need navigation buttons because this, this tablet has physical buttons. Uh, protect your tablet you can set up that later if you want and restore apps and data we're going to leave that as well set and start and there we have it we are now running android 11 and as we can see we've got the google play store bang on the home screen there so let's just open that and as you can see it already seems pretty snappy so the tablet itself there's your apps there's none autofocus is horrible today so yeah, no apps essentially. You can pick whatever that you want to put on it. So the thing is extremely lightweight and that's what makes it really quick. Um, just to confirm, we will go to settings here. Oh, did I lock it there by accident? Must have tapped the button. Settings. Am I maybe just missing it? Yeah, I'm just missing it. Ignore the tablet, it's not a problem, it's me, I'm the problem. Anyway, pop into about there, and as we can see, not really bothered if you see any of those details, quite honestly, um, we've got Android 11. So, Lineage OS version 11. And that's all there is to it. So this tablet is now updated, lightweight, super quick, compared to the previous Samsung bogged down not very good in my opinion software if this video has been of any help to you at all please like and subscribe I apologize for how unscripted it has been leave a like I'm going to I can't do that